Good morning, micro followers. I'm on my way back to the back acre to see if my hens are sitting. If you watched part one and part two of yesterday, <clears throat> you know that I had a broody silky and a barred rock that followed suit, much to my surprise. So yesterday, I brought them back here, got them set up in the hutch. That, they, that way they were secluded and safe. And sitting barred rock and sitting silky. This is good news. She's sitting, whereas yesterday I was kind of questioning whether or not she was going to. And she is still there. Luckily in the same box. So let's get some food and water changed out for him. That makes me happy. Morning, ladies. Thankfully, I'm not warding off any carpenter bees at the moment. So that makes things a little easier for me. Except I can't get the food dish back on. There we go. Alright. Hi, sweetie. How you doing, baby girl? You good? How you doing, sweetie? Does that make you happy, huh? She got her butt face in the outside. I think, I don't know how I will ever be able to tell the difference after these babies hatch, but I'm pretty decided that I'm going to call this one Gretchen. I don't know why. I've always liked the name, and yesterday I was driving through town, and I seen some kind of sign, that Gretchen's stylist or something, I don't remember what it was, and I'm like, yeah, that broody hen that I just took back yesterday... So this is officially Gretchen. I have no idea how I'm going to tell the difference between her and the other girls after this is all over. But still, at least she's got a name now. And Fifi, of course. Poor girl. Alright. Well, I'll be back here daily, obviously, to do chores. But we'll just kind of check some progress, and I'm not really sure if it's possible <clears throat> without getting attacked. But if I can pull it off here in about 7 to 10 days, maybe I'll try to candle some eggs. See if anything's going on in there without getting killed. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep you posted.